Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an Amazon Kindle Fire, which is running a version of Amazon's uh, Android software. You can see it's got the uh, application list and the home screen and so forth. And I'm going to show you how to go ahead and replace this with an early build of Google Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, this is assuming that you've already rooted your device and installed Team Win Recovery Project, or TWRP 2.0. Uh, you can find instructions on how to do that at lilliputing.com. So first we're going to go ahead and shut down the device by pressing and holding the power button and saying yes we want to shut down. Now we're going to press the power button to turn it on and from the fire fire recovery we press and hold the power button again and this will get us into recovery. So you want to sort of hold it until the power button turns orange and now you should see the, uh, the logo again and this time it's going to take us to the uh, Team Win Recovery Project. From here it's a good idea to do a factory reset which is basically uh, wiping all the data on your device except for the portion that's treated as a SD card. So even though there's not a physical removable micro SD card in here, um, anything that's stored in the SD card area is safe. Now we're going to go and hit the home screen and choose the install option and I've created a folder here with a bunch of different files in it actually. Uh, the one really important one is the application or the uh, the SD try for SD card dot zip and this is basically a version of ice cream sandwich that was released by hacker Jackpot Clavin with a couple of little adaptations from uh, some other developers here and this is basically ice cream sandwich not everything works perfectly uh, but many things will and then we're going to flash a couple of updates once this is finished to um, install the Google Android Market and other Google applications. Um, the Trebuchet uh, app, uh, Cyanogen Mod 9 Android 4.0 app launcher and Super User. So this is already rooted but it doesn't have the Super User application installed. So we're going to go ahead and install that which will let us run apps that require Super User. Okay, so let's hit the back button. Let's do Google Apps. This should go much more quickly. Super user. Okay, well we got an error there, so I'm not sure that super user is going to work properly. Here comes the app launcher. Let's wipe cache. Try super user one more time. Okay, I'm not sure that that worked properly, but you should be able to install super user from the Android market as well. So let's go ahead and reboot. And this might take a minute or two. This time you'll see that we've got the green light flashing and we're not going to press and hold it. We're just going to go ahead and let it switch past recovery mode and go straight to the um, standard boot mode. Now future versions of this are going to have a custom boot logo for Cyanogen mod and some other changes, um, but right now we're basically running a very early build, and so we just see the default Android boot logo here. Now while this is Android 4.0 Ice Cream Sandwich, the SD card bugs that have uh, been affecting previous builds are working just fine so you can use the SD card. There are still some issues here. Uh, audio does not work consistently. Uh, there are some problems with video, so playing YouTube video and flash video don't seem to work properly. Um, hardware accelerated graphics are a little bit iffy, but overall you can get an idea of what Android 4.0 is going to look like once some of those kinks have been worked out. Um, there's uh, There are a number of people working on, on this build trying to make sure it works properly on the Amazon Kindle Fire tablet. 
hardest part of installing this really is uh, gaining root access and installing the Team Win Recovery Project. It's pretty easy when you see those uh, that sort of yellow triangle flashing button uh, uh, or icon in the middle. It's kind of easy to get stuck in that spot, and it uh, it takes a little bit of work and, and elbow grease sometimes to get out of it. You need to uh, uh, basically what that is is fast boot, and you need to figure out how to install drivers so that your machine can get out of fast boot. So here we are. Uh, looks like we've got the start. Okay, so let's configure Wi-Fi. Let me take this away so you can't see my password. Okay, so we're connected to Wi-Fi. Uh, I can set the date and time later. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and sign in. So you can see here in, in just about five minutes we went from running Amazon's Android 6.2 software to running uh, CyanogenMod Mod 9 or an early version of Cyanogen Mod with access to the Google Android applications and everything. Okay, so we're all set up. I'm just enabling auto rotation and what that means is that from the home screen we should be able to have automatic screen rotation working properly. Uh, looks like the wallpaper is not really very well designed here. Let's grab some other wallpaper. Okay, so now you can see that we've got uh, the ability to switch home screens, we can uh, change wallpapers, view full list of applications and widgets. Uh, let's go ahead and throw the Android Market widget on here. And maybe Android Market application. I should be able to log into the Android Market. So you can see we've got music, movies, applications, and so forth. In My Apps, we've got a number of different applications available for download. Settings. see that we are running Android 4.0.3 and uh, things seem to, to move pretty pretty smoothly here. Um, we've got a couple of bugs. It looks like it crashes from time to time. Uh, Audio is inconsistent as we said, but overall it's kind of usable um, and more importantly it's a demonstration of, of where things are going. And that application we installed is up and running. So you can surf the web, you can download applications, um, it's not necessarily ready for prime time, but if you just want to be running Google Android 4.0 on an Amazon Kindle Fire, you can give it a try right now, and everything seems to work, and this version of Android really is optimized for use on tablets, and it's uh, a little bit 
better suited, I think, to, to this device than Android 2.3. This is Brad Linder for Lilliputing.